Okay, the day has finally arrived. We're gonna we're gonna declutter the closet. I've been talking about it since summer. It is January. It's a new year, and my closet is to a point. We're not in my closet right now, but my closet is to a point where I can't even get I can't get ready for work in the morning. I can't find anything. It's a I don't know how much I'm actually gonna declutter, but I definitely need to like refold everything, reorganize it just clean it up and get rid of some things. I'm in the spare bedroom right now because there's a window behind me, which makes it like weirdly backlit. Um, so because I had planned on doing this like at the end of summer, beginning of fall, and then my whole life fell apart, I had just started a pile <laughs> in the closet behind my mirror um, where I was just like throwing things that don't fit or I would put on and not feel good in, et cetera, et cetera. Some of these things are actually left over from the last declutter that I just like never did anything with. Some things are new. I have a whole pile of things here that are my husband's that he's gonna donate. That's what we're gonna do today. I thought I would quickly just kind of show you some of the things that are in this room that I don't think you guys saw me declutter in the last one. Um, one of those is this winter jacket. I had gotten this winter jacket last year at the consignment store and when I bought it I was like it's like a little tight but like I'm gonna lose a couple of pounds but then I gained a couple of pounds <laughs> and now it doesn't fit so basically I can get it on and I can zip it up but if I bend over it just like pops open so we're getting rid of that I got a new winter jacket for Christmas I'm also getting rid of this purse because it's like about to break where yeah it's like about to break and I just know that the next time I would use it, it would break and I would just be like carrying it around by the handle. So getting rid of that, um, I think I had mentioned earlier in the summer or in my last declutter that I was going to get like one more season <laughs> out of these shoes. And I did look at them. They look awful. So we're getting rid of those little Steve Madden slides. Again, I got those at the consignment store and I wore them like into the ground. So during the summer, I had tossed a couple of pairs of shorts in here. I have a couple of pairs that I think these are just like Urban Planet shorts and they're just, they're just really short. And I have other shorts that I like better now that fit me better, that are a little bit higher rise, et cetera, et cetera. So I put those in the pile. I also put in, I've been hanging on to this cabbie skirt. It's really beautiful. It's got that like handkerchief bottom. It's so beautiful, but it's an extra small and I wear a medium. So like, I don't know who I think I am hanging on to that forever. Just let it go. It's fine. Um, I would often wear this like white tank top with that um, skirt once upon a time when it fit me and with other things, but then I put it on and there's two holes in the back. So getting rid of that. I've been holding on to this hot pink, like silky robe from La Senza forever because this is the robe that I got ready for my wedding in. Um, and that's the only reason I never wear it. It's so, like, it's just so hot pink. It's silky. So it doesn't stay closed. It just like keeps opening up and like I have photos of me wearing this. It's fine. I don't need to hold on to it for that. Um, I have these under armor cropped workout pants that I just don't, I just don't like the way they look on me. So we're going into the new year. I have a lot of clothes. Why am I hanging on to things that don't make me feel good? This is one of those shirts that I've hung on to forever. It's got that tiered. I know, I know that these are out of style. I've kept them forever. Um, I have a couple others like this similar style, but they're like plain. This one's just really patterned and I wear it with leggings when I'm like not feeling that good and I have to work and just let it go. So I'm trying to get rid of those types of things. I also had a couple of pairs of these M leggings from Cabbie. They have like the skirt with the leggings underneath. I have this dark gray pair and I have this light gray pair. And there was a time where I wore these all of the time to work and that time has come and gone. Uh, these are basically brand new. I bought these sweatpants with my friend at Ardeen's. We were really excited to get the same outfit, <laughs> the same sweatpants and the same tank top. But I bought them in a medium and Ardane's runs like pretty small. I should have bought a large. They're not comfortable. Why am I wearing sweatpants that aren't comfortable? It just like defeats the whole purpose. I had also gotten these sweatpants at uh, Salvation Army and I loved them and they were brand new. They still had tags on them when I bought them. They were from H&M, but they just like immediately got like 
pilled up and I've shaved them. I have a little shaver thing. I've shaved them like multiple times and they just, as soon as I wear them, they get pilled up again. So getting rid of those. I have so many sweatpants now. I don't need to hang on to ones that are just like not doing it for me. Um, I have a couple of, this is really wrinkly. It's been in the closet for a while on the floor, <laughs> but I have a couple of these like jumpsuits. I have one in black and then I have this kind of rust color and I got nail polish on this one at work. So that's why I don't buy expensive clothes for work. I got to do something with this hair. It's driving me crazy. Um, but this is why I don't buy expensive clothes for work. I think this was like a $10 jumpsuit from Urban Planet. So I'm fine to get rid of that. Uh, I've got a pair of black dress pants here that I've been hanging on to, thinking that I would get into them again. They are a size five. I wear at least a seven and they're like pretty low rise. We're really not doing the low rise anymore, or I'm not. <laughs> uh, I've got a pile of bras here I'm not gonna show you, but I have a bunch of bras that I, I never wear bras, guys. I don't wear them. I wear sports bras. I might wear a real bra like once a week and I have like, five over there that I don't know when was the last time I put them on. Um, I have these little shorts from Urban Planet. Same thing. They're just a little too short and I have other shorts now that I like better. I talked about this in the last declutter for sure. Um, this is too tight in the arms for me and I keep hanging on to it again thinking like I'm going to lose a couple of pounds and then I'm going to wear my red flannel shirt again. Just buy a new red flannel shirt that fits. I like it to be oversized anyway. So I'm getting rid of that finally. I have a swimsuit cover-up that I'm getting rid of. I have a million swimsuit cover-ups and this is probably like my least worn one. I've got this like strapless, Clinton, my husband calls these like my pregnancy shirts. You know, the ones that are like tight at the top and loose at the bottom. This is one of those. <laughs> Everything looks really see-through, but it's just cause there's a window behind us. Um, I haven't worn this for quite a few summers, so I'm okay to get rid of that. This is a little like, just a little tank top, has like an open back. I Again, I haven't worn it for a few summers, so getting rid of that. I have this little skirt that I wear. So I, sometimes I wear this with leggings in the winter with like a black sweater and I'm just over it. I'm just over it. And then I've just got these sneakers that I'm gonna get rid of. They're like a half a size too big and they're just so busy. <laughs> they're just so busy. I I like the idea of these, but I, I just never end up wearing them. And then lastly, I have a dress. And there's other things in there, but I'm pretty sure you guys saw those in the last declare. It's just a few pairs of shoes. Um, but this is a dress that I had gotten on Sheen and I was really excited about it because this color of blue, this is my favorite color in the whole world. It's like that cobalt blue. Love it so much. It's like a halter type and I feel like it's choking me to death <laughs> when I wear it. So we're gonna get rid of that. So those are the things that were in here that have been kind of like living in a pile in my closet. So now we're going to go through the actual closet. Okay, we're in the official closet now. <laughs> my hair is up. We really mean business. So this side of my closet, I explain every time, but in case you're new here, this side of my closet is like dresses, jumpsuits, my house coats, long sweaters, things like that. This is all the long stuff hangs on this side. Are you crooked? Don't mind all of the dog hair on my shirt because Betty was fighting with the dog next door and I had to go and like get her. Okay, so this side, I sort of have arranged by season. So I have like the front half is kind of like the stuff I'm wearing right now into like the winter or colder months. And then towards the back is more my summer stuff and also like my dressier stuff that I don't wear super often. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to get rid of, but I wanted to go through each thing. I'm going to get rid of this. So this was a dress. I'm going to make a pile of hangers. I always just leave the hangers in the closet. So this was a dress that was given to me by one of my clients. She got it on Shein and I ripped one of the buttons off and I kept the button, but I'm never going to fix this. So we'll get rid of it. I have it in black with all of the buttons intact. So we'll keep this one. There's an empty hanger. Okay, I think I'm ready to part with this. This was a Salvation Army find. This was from Dynamite originally. And I do, I like this with like little gray leggings, but I find it to be a little bit tight in like the back of the arm for, this is something I would wear to work. If you're new here, I'm an esthetician, nail technician. I do a lot of nails. So I find this to be a little too constricting in like the back area for working in. And this isn't something that I would wear off of work. So I'm going to let that go. This one I always hum and haw about. I 
just don't know. I always think about getting rid of this and then I always keep it and I wear it like twice a year. I think I'm gonna let this go. Okay, now I'm more into my summer stuff on this side. And I did, as you guys saw, like I had a jumpsuit and I had a few dresses in that pile already. So I did kind of go through this stuff once over the summer. These are like my dressy dresses. Some things I hang on to, like I try not to keep too many things for like sentimental reasons, but some things I just have to. Like this is a dress that I bought on my honeymoon and it's really short and I haven't worn it in years, but it's just so beautiful and it brings me back to, I went to, my husband and I went to Old Quebec City for our honeymoon and he bought me this dress and I wore it out to dinner and I just have such nice memories attached to it. And then like this one, <laughs> I told you that cobalt's my favorite color, right? So I wore this for my bridal shower. I wore it with leggings. Like, I know it's like a little short skirt, but I wore it with leggings like out to dinner with the girls. And again, it just brings, it just sparks joy when I look at it. It's like I still have my wedding dress, you know, some things you just keep. Honestly, I think that's it from this side. <laughs> I'll probably declutter a few other dresses in the summer, but now it's like January and I'm looking at all of my summer dresses with like nostalgia. And I don't wanna get rid of things just for the sake of getting rid of things. So I'm okay to leave this side sort of as is. Just getting rid of a few things. There is like room over here. Like I can push this over. There is like, it's not that full. I'm justifying my decisions. Okay, so far I've gotten rid of three dresses. <laughs> okay, so this side of my closet, up top here I have um, tops, you know, blazers, cardigans, things like that, like workwear, stuff like that. Down here on the bottom I have work pants, skirts, and hoodies. So we'll do, I know you guys can't see my face, but you know, we'll do this top section first and then we'll do the bottom section. Push everything over again. I keep a handful, tell me if you guys are like this. When I was young, in my youth, <laughs> when we used to like go out, you would wear like a cute pair of jeans and then like some kind of a going out top. And I have kept like just a handful of going out tops. I don't go out, but like if I was going to, I have just a few tops that I would wear that I just think are like a little bit fancier than what I would wear, you know, to work but you can like dress them up with a pair of jeans. This doesn't look like anything when I'm showing it to you like that. You know, like these are just cute, just cute to wear out and about. So I'm gonna keep all of those, the odd occasion that I might go out. Um, this one I'm gonna get rid of. There's a hanger attached to it. I, this is another one of those tops that I wear like once a year because the fabric is really soft. It's that really soft like jersey kind of material, but it's also one of those because of the shape of it. I never know, like I can't not wear a bra, but I don't know what bra to wear. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, so these are like my sh like sleeveless work shirts that I wear with a blazer over top. I decluttered these the last time pretty heavily, so, and I haven't bought anything new since then. So there's really nothing here that needs to go. See, I have a few of these like tiered shirts. I don't care if they're not in style. I like them. <laughs> I like them with a little blazer on top. And then I've got some t-shirts here. Again, I haven't really bought anything new since the last time I did this. I haven't actually done much shopping in the last little while. All I've really bought in the last few, well, in the last year or so, mostly what I've bought has been sweatpants and like staple items that I needed. So I haven't been adding a lot of new to my wardrobe. So there's the things that I have to get rid of are things that I've been hanging on to for a long time. This was a shirt that was my Nana's and I have kept it for so long and I'm gonna continue to keep it. Um, but it's one of those where I just can't part with it. And I actually recently had it dry cleaned so I could actually wear it. I feel like this, um, I'm buttoned a little bit tucked into like my black paper bag pants could be really cute. Yeah, there's really nothing here that I need to let go of. Now we're into like my blazers and like cardigans and stuff like that. <sighs> this is one that I hold on to 
because I don't have a lot of fitted blazers, this is one that I've hung on to for a long time. Um, I think it was just from Urban Planet. It's not like an expensive one, but it is in a size small and I do generally prefer the way that like a medium fits just like in the arms and across the back if I'm wearing it to work because I need to be able to move. Um, so I think I'm going to let this one go finally. Okay, I'm going to tilt you a little so we can look down here. I don't know how well you're going to see. There's also like my vanity is here and I can't move that. So here I've got skirts, pants, hoodies. Okay. So here I've got like a lot of my maxi skirts and I decluttered these last summer. So I only have a few on here now, but I used to have like six on here. Okay, so I'm good with all of those skirts. I've got pants here that I've never worn. And then I've got these, like they're sort of like a denim paper bag pant. And I just, when I put these on, I don't like the way that they look. I love paper bag pants. I love mom jeans. Like I do love that shape, but these ones are like a little too like long bum, you know? Okay, so for hoodies, I keep most of my hoodies. I live in Canada, it's cold here. I do wear most of these. I am gonna, this is sad, I'm gonna let go of this. This is one that my mother-in-law bought for me. She had a tendency to buy me things I think that she liked and in the size that she thought that I was. And so this is like a velour zip up type of moment and I don't like the collar on it. It's like a little bit short for what it is. I just don't find myself wearing it. I was gonna get rid of this. I've kept this like pink hoodie. <laughs> I don't wear this, but I've kept this pink hoodie with like, you know, you know how you keep the clothes that you're like, these are like my painting pants or like my painting shirt. This is going to be like my painting sweatshirt. So we're going to renovate our basement this year. And so I've kept this thinking like I'll need something. There's a dog hair on my face. I've kept this thinking like I'll need something to wear when I'm doing like home projects that I don't care if I ruin. So I'm keeping this for that. But when that project is done, I will declutter this pink sweatshirt. Okay, I've done really poorly over here. So, so far I've gotten rid of like just a handful of things. <laughs> which is fine. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of things for the sake of getting rid of things, but it is what it is. So this is a nightmare, right? This cabinet, I, I know this is a representation of my state of mind currently. So this cabinet is like tops, sweaters up here. I have swimsuits and uh, cover-ups. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I decluttered these at the beginning of summer. Um, they just look like this. Let me know in the comments down below if you're like me and you have a lot of swimsuits and cover-ups, how are you storing them? Because this is an absolute nightmare and I haven't figured out a better way. I have, there is a basket back there that you wouldn't know. Maybe I just need a bigger basket. Okay, I couldn't find a bigger basket, but I found a second basket. So I put swimsuits in that one. And cover-ups there. There's still too many, but that's a project for summer. It's really hard to declutter summer things in January. So here I've got all of my workout shirts. And I'm going to start by refolding them. We'll see as I fold them if there's anything that can go. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of a couple. It's hard for me to get rid of gym shirts because I... I go to the gym a lot and I don't like to wear the same shirts all the time, but I haven't bought new gym clothes in so long, especially shirts. Like I've gotten some new pants, but some of these are just like, like I liked this. It's this coral shirt. It says your only limit is you. I just, I feel like it's time to retire that one. And same with this one. This is an East Coast lifestyle tank top. I have another one by the same brand, but it's purple. This is a shade of pink that people buy for me. <laughs> for some reason and I don't like it on me like I don't like the way I look in this shade of pink and it's another one of those that I wear this when I don't feel good about myself so I shouldn't keep it so I need to get rid of those and then the pile that goes next to it this is like this is like shirts that I lounge in that are not jammies these categories always sound crazy but they make sense to me and that's all that matters so some of these are like long sleeve shirts that I would go hiking in or t-shirts that I would put underneath of a hoodie to go, you know, walk the dog, stuff like that. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is an Aber, what is this? Aeropostal. This is an Aeropostal one. Again, it's that, my dad bought me this. It's the shade of pink that 
everyone seems to want me to wear, but I'm not into. Okay, top shelf is done. Second shelf, I've got, you know, like summer shirts that don't need to hang. I've got tank tops that I wear um, like underneath of stuff, like camisole type of tank tops. I've got short sleeve sort of work shirts that don't need to hang. And then I've got more long sleeve work shirts that don't need to hang. So let's, let's get cracking. I just find it easier if I take everything out and then refold it and then kind of see how I feel as I handle things. Like if I'm coming across things that I'm like, okay, I didn't wear that this summer or the summer before, then I feel okay to get rid of it. Okay, I have a couple of these like tube top type shirts. These just don't fit me very well. I think both of these are smalls. Yeah, both of these are smalls and just like not really suited to my body type and I, it's been a few summers now that I haven't worn those so it's time to let those go. I'm just really not a tube top person. I just like to have some straps to hold my shirts on, you know? I usually don't get rid of much in terms of like my camisole type tops um, because I haven't bought anything new in a while and I do wear them all but I'm gonna refold them anyway just in case something's hiding. I love like these types of shirts. I got this one at Ardeen's. I just love these. Like instead of wearing a whole like bra and tank top, I just throw this on and like throw a flannel shirt on over top. I just love stuff like that. It's so easy. This is like the one tube top that I keep because it's like really stretchy. It doesn't have any padding or like anything like that in it. I do occasionally wear that one in the summer. Okay, next pile. <laughs> Some of the stuff, like, I forgot I had this. This is so cute. It's like a little crop top with like a little mesh panel. Totally forgot I had this because it's such a mess in here. This is why I have to do this more often. There's a tank top that belongs in the other pile. <laughs> yeah, this pile is like these types of things. Like, it's just like a little bit of a dressier tank top, but it definitely doesn't need to hang. It's just cotton, cute, like under a blazer or tucked into pants in the summertime. You know these types of things this is a bodysuit that i've never worn <laughs> still got the tags on it do i need to keep this i'm not gonna keep this it's a size two i won this i won this from another youtuber she was doing like a giveaway and i was super jazzed but it, <laughs> it doesn't fit first of all it's a bodysuit second of all it's a size two um i usually wear a four uh and it's also petites and i'm Five, eight. So we're going to let it go. I wish it fit me because it's so cute, but like, I'm not going to get shorter, <laughs> you know? So let it go. Okay. And then this last pile is like more long sleeve shirts that I would wear to work. Like I've got this little cotton. It's just like a little turtleneck. Wore that the other day. Love that one. Okay. Next shelf down, we've got like these two, what? These two piles here are just like casual, like long sleeve t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirts. And then these two piles are like um, black sweaters. Sorry, where am I pointing? Black sweaters that I wear to work and non-black sweaters <laughs> that I wear to work. I actually feel like I could swap these and this. I think that makes more sense. So then it's like mostly casual stuff and mostly work stuff. I think that makes more sense. So let's tackle this pile. Okay, so just casual t-shirts. I don't have like a ton here and I do wear most of these. I keep this every time and I'm gonna keep it again this time and it says Canadian girls know how to party. I wear it once a year <laughs> on Canada Day and I don't care, I love it so much. I justify it because like I don't own any Christmas sweaters or anything like that. This was one that my mom made me <laughs> and it says, all you need is love and a beagle. I don't know if you can see that. This She get, gave this to Clinton and I when Betty had her first eye surgery <laughs> and we wore these to drop her off. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to start a little memory box. I have memory boxes down because the stenciling is coming off. So I had worn this quite a bit, but it's actually starting to like come apart and before it completely falls apart, I'm going to put it in a memory box. I have memory boxes for all of the dogs that I've had. Um, 
and usually that's the thing I do after they pass away but I am gonna put this in my basement in a bin because I don't want to wear it and wash it and destroy it completely this is one that my friend Nancy made for me and it says gel nail clean <laughs> so I have to keep that and then of course there's my Dunder Mifflin t-shirt can't get rid of that this one I love my dad bought me this and it says train like you've got a pair and it's got this on the back I love it I wear it all the time I'm not doing a lot of decluttering apparently I'm just refolding everything okay so now I'm into more of the long sleeve things totally forgot I had this how cute is this long sleeve crop top why am I not wearing that okay this is why we do this this one I'm gonna get rid of this is a long sleeve black well it's like a three-quarter sleeve black shirt um, I think you can see how worn it is. So we're going to let that go. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is one of those I've kept for like walking the dog in the winter. I have other long sleeve shirts. I hate, I just, the color and pattern of that makes me feel some kind of way. So I'm going to get rid of that because I've got two other long sleeve shirts right here that I can wear under a sweater when it's really cold for walking the dog. So that's that shelf done. So I'm going to do these two piles next. And I think I've worn most of these things already this year, so I don't think there's going to be anything to get rid of here. This is another sweater that was my Nana's. <laughs> and I wear, I wear it. It still smells like her. I don't understand how that's possible. I've washed it so many times. She passed away like 10 years ago, and her sweater still smells like her. So when I need a little extra support, sometimes I wear that sweater. Okay, so further down, I don't know how I can show you. Let me see. Okay, you're sitting inside of the cabinet. <laughs> okay, so this is the shelf I'm going to tackle next. Again, it looks like there's a lot here, but because it's sweaters, it takes up a lot of space. So again, I don't think there's much to get rid of here. But they definitely need to be, like, dealt with. <laughs> I forgot I had this. Mm. Come on. Okay. Okay. I think again that I've worn all of these sweaters already this winter. It just sucks that sweaters take up so much room because I mean we have a long winter season here and it gets really cold and it's nice to have more than like two sweaters to wear but they just like three sweaters take up so much room. <laughs> and then I've got these big bulky black ones which again, they take up so much room, <laughs> but it's cold here. <laughs> and sometimes you're dressing up to go out for dinner and you just want to throw on like a really cozy black sweater because it looks dressy, but three sweaters takes up so much space. And then these are like my, I haven't kept a lot. I used to have a lot of these like throw over type of sweaters, like the long ones, which is so interesting because like they went out of style and now they're back in style. So this one has a hole in it. Am I going to keep it anyway? Yes, because it's my favorite. <laughs> I just love it so much. Okay, and then this bottom shelf. Oh, I guess sit properly. This bottom shelf. So I have like bras, sports bras, bralettes, all those types of things in this basket. Just haphazardly in a mess. And then I've got like pajamas and stuff like that here. So I'm not going to go through my bras with you guys. Obviously, that would be weird. Um, and the pajamas, a lot of them are sentimental. However, I am going to get rid of this. Oh, there's another, there's another long sweater. I'm keeping it. I'm terrible at this. I was so jazzed to do a big declutter and I feel like I'm not doing very well. But I did have that big pile of stuff already set to declutter, right? Okay, so I am going to get rid of this. My mom gave me this, I think, last year for Christmas. I have not worn it once. I think I wore it, like, the day she gave it to me. It's, like, a long hoodie. It's, like, a really long hoodie, but it's that fleece material that makes me sweat. It just makes me sweat. And if I'm going to wear, like, a long fleece thing, I'm going to wear like this, you know, that's not a hoodie and it's not so thick. So I feel like because I have this, I don't need the other. I'm just going to tidy this up and then we'll switch to the other side. Okay, I switch you to the other side. I did find a t-shirt in there that I'm going to get rid of. I used to work at Maritime Beauty. Haven't worked there in 
almost a decade. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That is one that I've slept in, but like I have other t-shirts I can sleep in. So on this side, we have bottoms, basically. This is bottoms. Um, so I have like gym pants, sweatpants, casual pants. I don't know, it's a lot of pants. So we're gonna go through them all and see what we can get rid of. Right off of the bat, I'm gonna get rid of these. Um, these are a pair of pants that I got from Sheen. They are in my size. Actually, they're a large. Um, I find them to be like pretty tight around the waist. This drawstring is not real. This is just for decoration. So you can't mess with that at all. And they're like a weird thin material that I feel like shows all like my lumpy bumpies. So we're just gonna, gonna get rid of those. I think all of the other gym pants are good. Yeah, these are all good ones that I like to wear. This pile is like like fleece lined leggings, things that I would, um, again, walk the dog in in the wintertime, go hiking, go snowshoeing, stuff like that. These I'm gonna get rid of. These are a pair of lounge pants from, God, where are these from? The garage? Yeah, I've had these for, I've probably had these for 20 years. So I'm gonna get rid of these. They're like the type that fold over. Do you guys remember? These were like all the rage in my youth. So I'm not wearing those anymore. I'd rather wear just like a pair of sweatpants or a pair of Lulus. These are a pair of pants that I am determined to get into. <laughs> they're from Cabbie. They're in a, I know they're a size small. Am I ever gonna get into these? Yes, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these one more season. I have lost a few pounds. Um, but they're, I were, the last time I tried these on, they were very close to fitting me. So I am going to keep them for that reason. And then these are just a pair of like really fleecy inside leggings for when it's really cold out. These are my sweatpants. They're all fine. I wear them all. I've never owned so many pairs of sweatpants in my life and I love that for me. So keeping all of those and they're pretty nicely folded. These are my black leggings everything there is fine. This used to be a whole pile of leggings that are not black and now there's two pairs in here and I'm going to get rid of one. These are Spanx leggings. These were given to me by my friend. I think she bought them on Poshmark. They're in a size small. They make me feel like I'm dying. I feel so constricted in these. It's just not for me. I don't, I don't want to wear maybe if they were my size, I'm not sure, but I don't want to wear things that make me feel like that, you know? So I just have this one pair of gray leggings. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put them in the pile with the black ones, because why is there a separate pile? These are all my gym shorts. I decluttered these last summer, so I'm keeping all of those. These are all of my capri pants for the gym. I was gonna keep them all, but I think I'm gonna get rid of these ones. These are just like really worn. <laughs> They're just really worn out. These are from, it says the girls, they're in a size small. I think these I got at like maybe Winners or something like that. They're just like, you know when the black is not black anymore? That's kind of where we're at, so I don't need to keep those. These are receipts from Christmas presents. Comment down below if you find these randomly in January. I obviously kept those worrying that I'd need to return something. Uh, okay, so next, I feel like you guys can't see. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing my best. It's a very small room to try to set up like a tripod. Yeah. Okay. So this shelf here, I've got some mini skirts that I wear with leggings. Uh, I have a sweatsuit that my husband got me for Christmas. And then I have like my jean shorts and like various pairs of shorts. So that's what's going on here. Um, I did actually, before I started filming, I tried on a few of the things that I was not sure if they fit and they all fit. So Love that for me. Um, quite a few of those things I had tried on last winter and they didn't. So that's great news. So I'm going to keep uh, all of these <laughs> little mini skirts and I'm going to get rid of this one. So these are two that I got from H&M that I love to wear in the summer with like a baggy t-shirt or in the winter with leggings. And I have this leopard one. I have a matching blazer, but I don't wear them together. I'm going to put those up here since there's room. Um, this I'm going to get rid of. This is a skirt, And I know skirts are kind of like back in, but I've never worn this. 
<laughs> it's one of those where I just keep holding on to it thinking, am I going to wear this? I mean, I could wear it to work. It's got shorts underneath. Maybe I'll keep it one more summer now that I know that it fits. Because I feel like, like this navy top with this little navy could be cute, right? It could be cute. Okay, I'm going to keep it. One How much space does this take up? Not a lot. So I'm going to keep that one more season. This is a sweatsuit that my husband got me for Christmas. It's enormous, so it has to have its own pile. Obviously keeping that. These are my shorts. My shorts that are not gym shorts. So I'm going to set the pile here for a second. And maybe I'm going to do this and make a couple of piles. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a couple of piles. I'm going to do a pile with jean shorts and I'm going to do a pile with not jean shorts. These I'm going to let go of. Okay. So <laughs> these are my, my husband calls these my harem pants. They're, you know, they're like harem pants. And at the time when I got them, that was like pretty cool. And I've hung on to them because they're so comfortable. They're like the most comfortable, like thin cotton of your life. But at this point I've had them for a decade and I don't think they're like doing me any favors at this point. Um, these are gym shorts. I'm gonna go with the gym shorts and the rest are jean shorts. So I have three pairs of jean shorts. I got them all just this last year and they all fit. So love that. Okay, we're on the floor again. So here is all of my jeans and these are some work pants that don't need to hang. This is a mess, partly because I tried everything on before I started filming. So everything surprisingly fits except for a couple of things. I'm just gonna pull it all out. I'm just gonna pull it all out. We're gonna start over. So starting with the work pants, I have these, I have these leather pants, okay? My mom bought these years and years ago. These are really beautiful, like high quality leather pants from like Danier. Um, I don't even know if that's like a store anymore. Anyway, they are technically my size. However, they're like low rise and like boot cut and she is much shorter than me. So they're not quite long enough, but I can't seem to bring myself to get rid of them because like, I don't generally buy leather. I don't buy, I don't buy any leather unless it's secondhand. I don't buy any fur unless it's secondhand. Um, so this is like, you know, technically secondhand leather. I hate to just, like an animal died <laughs> for these pants, you know? And so I hate to just get rid of them, but I know I'm not going to wear them. So I'm trying to figure out, like, is there somewhere I could take these to have them like tailored or turned into a skirt or like a pair of shorts? Or is there something we can do with these? I just don't know. So for that reason, they're going to stay in my closet. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I have these jeggings. Like, we're not doing jeggings anymore, right? These are very tight. Whenever I wear these, I regret it. So I'm going to get rid of them. Um, the rest of the work pants, I think, are good. Okay, and then for denim, I think what I'm going to do is like a light denim pile and a dark denim pile. These are my new silver jeans. They're the highly desirable trouser jean. If you're looking for a pair of jeans that make your body look incredible, <laughs> these are the ones. These are so good. I love them so much. Um, I have never bought a pair of nice jeans before. All of my other jeans are either from like consignment stores, American Eagle, Urban Planet, you know, nothing fancy. Um, but I got these secondhand, no, I got these on sale for half price and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Anytime I go out anywhere, like outside of work, I wear them because I feel so good in them, but I would never wear them to work because I'll get nail polish on them. I have these overalls. I love them. I know overalls kind of come in and out of style, but these ones are like the perfect oversized, like light wash over overalls. So I'm going to keep those. I didn't think that these fit. <laughs> and I think the last time I tried them on that they didn't fit. I got these from Fashion Nova. There are jeans in the front and there are track pants in the back. And they say jeans in quotations on the sides. And I just think these are everything. So I was really excited to find out that these fit me again. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to wear the, I'm going to wear them this spring and it's going to be amazing. Um, and then I have a couple of pairs from Urban Planet that I didn't think fit and they do. So I have these, um, 
they're the wax jeans they come up a little higher and they're supposed to like lift things they are in my size they're not the most comfortable but they fit so i'm gonna keep them these ones i keep because my husband likes them they have a bunch of holes in them <laughs> he really likes that i have a couple of things here that are not like blue denim so i have these gray um nygaard pants they're in a size eight they're enormous for an eight they're really stretchy and they don't like the zipper is not a real zipper. The pockets are not real pockets. I keep these because they're too big. I can put fuzzy leggings underneath of them if I'm going like snowshoeing or if I'm going to be outside in the cold for a long time. I keep them just for that reason. I don't wear them any other time. Rather than having like ski pants or snow pants or something like that that I would never wear, I just keep that one pair of jeans that are too big. Um, these are a pair of cargo, no, these are camo pants that I bought ages ago at Blue Notes. They're the super skinny style. I tried them on before this. I technically can get them on, but they're low rise and I'm just not doing, I'm not doing low rise anymore. It's just not my journey. These are my other favorite jeans. These are the Blue Notes. No, these are the American Eagle Next Level Stretch jeans. They're like skinny, but they're not super skinny. I love them. They're super high rise, really, really comfortable. So I'm going to keep those. These I didn't, the last time I tried these on, they didn't fit and they fit this time. So I had gotten these, I think on Fashion Nova, maybe on Shein. Let's see, Shein, yeah. And they are in my size. They're kind of like a cool wash. They're very skinny. So like not generally what I'm wearing these days, but I did actually like the way they looked when I tried them on. So I'm gonna keep those. These ones I'm not sure about. So these are too big, <laughs> first of all. They're a size 10. I wear like, like a seven in jeans generally um why am i keeping these they're too big i wear them sometimes with a belt i'm gonna get rid of them okay i'm gonna get rid of those too great down here is purses there's nothing there i'm gonna get rid of i do need to tidy that pile up but we're not gonna go through those Okay. So this section of my closet is my shoes. I have not brought any new shoes in since I decluttered these last. So all of these are going to stay. The only ones that I had to get rid of are the ones that you guys already saw, the sandals and the sneakers. So everything hanging basically looks the same. Not a lot went over there. Same over here. I had really like the pile of stuff that was already in the spare bedroom was most of the stuff that was going out of these sections but this looks so much better so much better got rid of a few things there and then this looks so much better as well so we got rid of some of the bottoms reorganized a little bit this is all looking so much better now let's go look at the pile I know it didn't seem like I got rid of a lot but look I mean this is my husband's stuff there's that jacket and that purse these things were already in a pile to go. And all of this is stuff that I got rid of just today. Look at all this. There's a lot of clothes there. So I'm really happy with everything that I was able to part with. I think I actually made like a decent dent in the closet. I checked the coat closets and there was nothing there that I thought I needed to get rid of. It was just that winter jacket. There's nothing in here. I've got a duvet set here that I'm gonna take to the SPCA. Hot tip, if you're getting rid of like towels, bedding, anything like that, phone your local animal rescue. The SPCA here always takes like that type of stuff. They line cages with it. So just so that you know, if ever you're getting rid of that type of thing, that's a great, that's a great place to donate those items. But look at all the things in there I'm getting rid of. I'm so happy. And so I always let you guys know, like nothing goes in the garbage unless it's like, like, I mean, these will go in the garbage. Look at them gross nobody wants those um but otherwise nothing goes in the garbage everything either gets donated or I have a friend actually in two weeks having a clothing swap party so this is why I was like I have to get this done um so we're actually going to do a big swap a bunch of us girls so that's going to be really fun so I'll take most of this stuff to that and then whatever doesn't get taken from that will be donated so don't worry. I try to find good homes for all of the things that I'm decluttering, whether it's makeup or whether it's clothing. I try not to throw anything away if I don't absolutely have to. So just so that you know, that's what's going on with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this has been like highly requested. These videos are always super chaotic. <laughs> you guys seem to enjoy them, but I always find them very chaotic. 
Um, I wish there was like a better way for me to film this, but it's just such a small room. I don't think the room seems that small when I'm filming in it, but it's very small. So it's hard. Like I really can't set up a tripod and then move around it. So I have to just work with like my tabletop one and like setting it different places. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you have started your new year declutter yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.